Hey everyone, in this video we will just clarify a concept of implicit versus explicit measures in Power BI. So let's start. I've got this Power BI file open here with me. You can also find this file on GitHub. I've uploaded it there. I have the link in the video notes. So essentially, uh, an implicit measure is something that the Power BI provides to us as part of the data model. So for example, you can see sales amount. This one is an implicit measure because it is directly coming from the source and Power BI has defined it and the data types for this. And it's also defined the summarization types for this. And there are some summarization types. And then explicit measures are something that we create using DAX. So if I go to the one below this, which is the sales amount as well, and you can see I've got sales amount less fried. So I've basically just calculated this some sales um, amount minus the fright amount. So um, anything which comes as part of the existing uh, data model uh, and is provided to us by Power, Power BI. So anything that comes as part of the base data model and is provided to us by Power BI is called uh, implicit measure. So for example, sales amount in this case is an implicit measure. But if you look at the sales amount less fright, which we've used some form of DAX um, to calculate it, is an explicit measure because we've defined it. Now there could be multiple um, people saying multiple things as to uh, uh, the advantages of explicit measures over implicit measures and there are some advantages but I think it, it is a case specific thing and depends on context to context. There is no thumb rule to say that uh, explicit measures are better than implicit measures. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers, bye.